Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So today we're checking out the BMW Veris M4 GTS. Looks super cool. We're going to do a review on this car. We're going to take it into some live racing and see how it does. But first, I'm going to give you some advice on tuning this. And I'm going to show you the shift pattern on how to drive this car. So, I will say first off, not too thrilled with this besides the way it looks. Looks awesome, but I don't love it. We'll get into more of the review in a little bit, but let's go talk about the tuning and then let me show you how to shift it. Then we'll get more into the review type of thing. On this car, the first thing I want to do is grab the tires and pull it over to pull this over to the left until these Evo points right here get as high as possible. All right, so pull these over like so until those points get as high as possible all right that's the way you want to do those and currently with the parts i have installed and remember your tune changes as you tune parts so with the two parts that i have installed that's where my tires ended up next on this car you're going to tune the final drive by moving it just a little bit to the right now if your parts are different there's a possibility you could need to move this to the left like I say, changing parts often changes your tune, sometimes drastically. But with the parts I installed, I moved this over to the right until these points got as high as possible. And then finally, I moved over to the nitrous and I pulled that over to the right until these points got as high as possible. So that's the way you want to tune this car. I do have a few stage sixes on it and a lot of fusion parts. So let's get into the shift pattern on how to drive this. So this should be the fastest shift pattern for you guys. Now, I will say it's not super easy to beat your dyno time on this car, but we're going to give it a go. So what you want to do is let go of the gas right around number one. Try to get yourself a perfect start. Shift into second right before red line. Actually, right in the orange, guys. We're going to get good shifts in the second. Good shift in the third. Hit your nitrous. And then all the rest of the shifts are kind of in the orange, but after the perfect shift, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and try and give this one a go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. If you'll notice, the first two shifts you want to get before the green. The rest of the shifts you want to get after the green, if that makes sense. I know I didn't shift it really good that time. That was kind of a kind of a, a lousy shift pattern, and I ran really slow. I'm not sure what I did there. Let's go ahead and try this one again because I really screwed that one up. I screwed that up royally. Such an easy car to drive, and somehow I messed it up beyond belief. So let's try that again. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. There we go. That was a good run right there. That was a good run. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right. La, 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 la. Load times are long. What's going on? Did we freeze? There we go. There we got a 12.305. With a dyno time of a 12.308. So we did beat dyno by pretty much next to nothing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and race this. I think that's a Gamera I'm about to race. And I'm pretty sure I am going to get my butt kicked. I do not expect this car to win any live races. But it could surprise me. Some cars, some cars are a little weird and do things they shouldn't do. But technically... This should not win live races. I don't think. But we're going to try it and find out. We will find out in just a minute. And... Yep, I lost, okay? I lost. That's what I was expecting. Let's go do a couple more and see how those go. Alright, so we lost one. We lost one. Opponent disconnected. Okay. I'll take it. I didn't win, but I won anyways. 
actually, never mind. The game just lied to me. It said, oh, you win, but uh, they still gave the other guy the win. That doesn't really make sense. Let's go try that again, guys. Okay, so we're going to race this GTR, and more than likely, it's going to destroy me. At least that's what I expect to happen. All right, this car doesn't beat Dino by much, and generally when it doesn't beat Dino, it doesn't do well at live racing. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, looks like I actually won a race. That's interesting. Let's see how many Evo points we got. Let's see how many Evo points we got. There I got a 12.307. And we got 1,157 Evo, which is not bad. I'm guessing that guy lost on purpose or maybe he, he messed up or something because I don't think this car is going to win a lot of races. But let's go do a couple more. Okay, so now we're going to race this Aston Martin. And... Well, I kind of expect the DBX to probably beat me. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This this is going to be a pretty interesting race. I don't think the DBX is a great live racer, so. I don't really expect this one to do super well, but you never know. All right, we got another one. Maybe this is car. Maybe this car is not too bad. I don't know. So far, so good, I guess. We lost one, and we won two. So we'll do a couple more and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to race this guy right here. I know for a fact this is a really good live racing car. So this will be a surefire way to know how good this car is at live racing. If, this, if I win, then I'm going to say, hey, this that car is actually good. Maybe this is going to be a, one of those surprising cars that... Shouldn't win, but does. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, that's close. Oh, we, we got it. All right, so maybe this car is actually pretty good at live racing. Either that or I'm just really lucky. So it might be a decent live racer, guys. I still wouldn't upgrade this unless you really need it. All right. If you need it for the Prestige Cup, by all means, upgrade this car. If you don't need it for the Prestige Cup, I probably would just leave it alone and not mess with it. So we got a top speed of 205 miles per hour. This is not going to beat Tempest 3 Tier 4. All right. You need to do like 260, 267, something like that. This car just does not have the top speed. Um, zero, six, 0 to 100 time is only around 2.6. Alright. 12.3 car. Now if you max this out completely, this car is going to run 11.727 is the world record time on this car. So if you max it out completely, that's what this car is capable of running, which is actually very slow for a tier 4 car. The top speed is low. The 0 to 100 time is just kind of okay. Nothing too special, guys. It looks like it does okay at live racing. I can I can tell you it wouldn't be my go-to live racing car. It does look awesome, though. It does look awesome. But it's just a so-so car. All right, it's got 877 on the Evo, which, which is decent. You don't want to go below 800, but you really want the Evo points to be up over 1,000. Cars that have over 1,000 Evo points do get more respect points when they win a live race. But this one still did okay. It got 1,100 Evo when it won, which is not bad. I'm going to go ahead and say this is kind of like what you would call a mediocre car. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just kind of okay, depending on what you're trying to do with it. All right. Nothing too special. All right. So this is the 98th fastest tier four car in the game. Number 90, 96 guys. I'm sorry. The 96th fastest tier four car in the game. So it's way down the list. There's a total of 142 
and it's 96 and there's actually two or three cars actually there's probably about what one two three four five six seven eight nine there's about 10 more tier four cars being added to the game right now and there's a pretty good chance they're going to knock this down the list even further okay kind of a slow car honestly so bottom line i don't love it i don't hate it i wouldn't normally drive it unless i needed it for an event it's just kind of a, mo a mediocre car that looks really cool guys mediocre car that looks really cool don't try to use it for the tempest races because you're probably going to lose or probably going to be disappointed it's definitely not going to make it through tempest 3 tier 4. all right catch you all later thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video see ya